Yugi boys, Yugi girls, welcome to another deck profile. Today we're doing Sky Striker. This deck is what I'm playing at the moment. I took this to locals and I'm it's sort of budget. So certain cards here are not the most optimal, but I'm, I make it work. And it's it's uh this is considered a very high skill complicated deck to play because you sort of have to do plays on top of your head yeah like you have to think ahead a lot of times but I <laughs> I like to dumb it down a little bit so this is a more uh, friendlier version of Sky Striker and this is what I'm currently playing and and I'm I'm pretty I'm having a good time with this so this is pretty standard three copies of Ray and three copies of Rose Rose, uh, at two, I like it at two, it's fine. Some people play it at one, some people don't play it. I think two, it's okay, yeah, it, it's enough. I like the grave effect they both provide. Obviously, we want to have a uh, ray most of the time, but it's fine if we if we open with Rose. Better open with Rose than with nothing. And that's it for the Sky Striker Ace Monsters. Next, we're going into our hand traps. So, we have here three copies of Ash Blossom and triple copies of Effect Veiler and I've opted to play triple copies of Impermanence so um, this six is because are the, the ones that I'm more confident with if you know what to negate with certain decks th 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 this is pretty much it this other hand traps there, they're good, like Skullmaster and D Crow and Gold Spell. Those are good versus some of the meta decks, but this three hit like almost everything, which is why I'm opting to play those. Um, other Sky Striker players, I have some my, my my friend Ryan, he he plays this deck completely different than the when the way I do. And I'll 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 probably ask him how to do a, a version with, with his and his explanation but my, my explanation for these three hand traps is because they're the most universal okay and we have ways to to deal with those other decks and i'll explain pretty standard nothing nothing too exciting here right triple widow anchor widow anchor um effect to negate if you have three spells in grave you can also take control of the monsters in the turn uh shark cannon is a dd crow and it also Effect two. If you have three spells in the grave, to special summon a monster from your opponent's graveyard, I believe is it in defense position? I don't. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. But just for for those that don't know, sky striker cards. If you have no monsters in the main monster zone, they do a thing. And if you have three spells in the graveyard, they do an extra thing. So that's it for for for, for that or interruption. Well, well, we have more cards. Let's go over them. Um, two afterburners so i was considering playing like in my side dark hole or regeki because it, it's sort of like there are certain decks that they they put out these like really hard boards to out except drytron but like a dark hole or a geki is like really really strong because they don't really put negation but then i thought you know we could just search a second after burners if that is the case so this is this is um it's a going first version but i have the two after burners because it does it does something you're not guaranteed to go to go um to go and i i also find myself using after burners a lot uh i have Two area zero in the terraforming to search it. Uh, I like to play three uh, area zero, but I, I do need space. I actually had to cut. Uh, I, I like to cut. I like to run jamming waves, but I cut it. I, I like to run one on one, but I cut the jamming waves because the way the way that I like my I saw my locals and stuff. I'm just more comfortable at the moment playing this way, but I'll probably tweak it and and, and something to continue. Uh, engage is at one. We try and loop this card as much as possible in the game. Uh, multi roll. For those who don't know, uh, this searches uh, if you have three spells in grave, throw throw a card afterwards. 
Multirole, uh, <laughs> Multirole has a lot of effects, so uh, it's like a spell book of, um, of judgment, sort of. And this is like a part of duality. Um, I'm only sort of explaining, uh, this is some of the token. These are, these are our limited to one, and then my other uh, tech options, a lot of people are playing Eagle Booster. You know, Eagle Booster is, is really is really good. And uh, is this the last cast trigger card? Yeah. So I thought of this, I didn't play this at, at, at my locals, but I thought of it later. So I'm gonna play a Hercules base because I don't have a Needle Fiber, have whatever, and uh, access code yet. So what I, ends up happening is that I interrupt my opponents, I negate their stuff, I steal, and I sort of go, I waste my Kagaris like way too much. Like my Kagaris are gone. And I need to also like, because afterburners, like I'm, I'm doing a lot of like destroying and looping engage. So I could have some way to um, interact with my opponent. And a lot of my games when I'm playing, they take a long, a long, longer time because I don't have access code and I don't have, I don't have all these cards that, that, that they make it a lot easier. Uh, so Hercules base gives me an option to recycle my Kagaris, recycle my afterburners, recycle like cards that are important, and use them again. I know that this is basically that that that's what uh, Multirole is for, but. With with playing and grinding, I end up realizing that yeah, I would like to have um, a Hercules base. So I'm gonna try it out. It's theory at the moment. I did okay at my at my locals, uh, but I, I I really like think I should play that. Uh, with the exception of terraforming, those are all the sky striker spells. Two foolish very goods. Um, metal full fusion. Some people don't like this. Some people play more hand traps or they cut those three and they add the um, more di different cards like share ride or or uh different dimension uh, ground i think it's called which which is fine i don't think that's what it's called uh that card but if you don't like this you know cut it i i i i'm a big fan of it it makes it makes playing the deck a lot easier it it, it just makes it easier cover the grave rota Upstart. Those are my last spells. It's a uh, pretty, pretty. All this stuff is pretty standard. And now for the last cards I have, this pretty much is my wing condition most of the time. This um, stops pretty much uh, all the rogue decks. It, it's really good against uh, s some of the some of the. It's good in the mirror sort of. Is it's really it carries you. It carries me a lot. The chameleon one. I'm not playing um, the Phoenix Enforcer. That, that's another reason why I'm playing Hercules Base because a lot of people playing Sky Striker were, were, were Phoenix Enforcer and it's really good to play that way. But as I said, I don't have that card at the moment. I don't have Axis Code. I don't have Hulk. So I'm, I'm sort of like playing with what I got and I'm trying to make it work. And the last is uh, Three Judgment. And that's it. It's I believe it's a forty-one card deck. That's that's how many cards there are. Really quick into my sketch trigger cards. Uh, triple Kagari, right? That's that's this is standard. There's nothing special about that. Three, three, three. Some people play two. I have, I think maybe I should cut one. But I'm not sure. Uh, and one kind of. I kind of want to play two kind of, but, but you can't. There's not enough space. And then one Seek. And Seek, seek does come up uh, a lot. So those are the Sky Striker links. Next, I'm playing uh, Hita. And I'm playing Hita because this is basically like my budget uh, Hulk of Hybrax. I special something and then I link into something like bigger. Then I have um, Lingrisu. It's my out to like cards like Dragoon. And then my last two spots here, um, Borlo Dragon, because I will always play Borlo Dragon because I love him. 
and we have Boar Sword. Boar Sword is essentially uh, my friend uh, Ryan told me why don't you play Boar Sword? Like it's like a like a budget option if you don't have access. I'm like, oh yeah, you're right. So that that's it for for what I have at the moment. But hey, this is still like really a really good deck. Like it's not it's not like it's like less than 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 the other versions because of the 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 following cards I'm about to play. Triple Mystic Mind in the side because we are playing a very helmet version of a uh, <laughs> Scast Tracker. If you have Hulk and Phoenix Enforcer, Celine, and all that stuff, listen, the deck takes you to like another IQ, and you just have to pilot the deck very well. And that's how you succeed and you have to know what to negate and this deck can pretty much go up against any deck but when you have mystic mind it makes it makes it way easier man it, it, it makes this deck way more easier to understand and you don't have to worry too much about breaking boards and this deck is great it's incredible at breaking boards but i do run myself sometimes i, I do find myself like games grind way too much and I'm like, you know what? Mystic Mind attack directly with Hayate. GG. I know some people don't like that, but. <laughs> Triple Share Ride. This is. Um, I'm not sure about this. This, in theory, is good. Um, this is actually something that I was thinking of playing instead of that. And it would be either, either, either more like a, something like Cosmic Cyclone. MST or Two Twister or Dimension uh, Dimensional Barrier. This is, this is a card I was I forgot the name because it, it, this like stunts like so many decks. Uh, however, sometimes I think that I'm fine like with the, the 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 main deck. I think I'm fine, and like this we have to draw this unless we play Trap Trick and and add some other traps. Then okay, but th this this. Is, is really good so if you want to maybe take some of this stuff out and add this it, it don't like a dollar so the next cards I have here for you beautiful people triple copies of uh, evenly match I don't think evenly match is budget but uh, like as I said earlier it, it's kind of budget like it, it's I'm trying to play with the best that I have at the moment and I, I will try to improve this deck as much as possible, but this version uh, is working, and, and even the match is it, really good at breaking boards. Next, we have one pack of tops, and for the last cards, I have one, two, three, four, five kaijus. Five kaijus because you could play like three and maybe two lava golem or something. The reason I do that makes it easier. It just makes it way easier to break boards. There are other options like droplets, and and that that's a that's a that's a really good card to play in this deck. However, with cards like Mystic Mine, Hand Trap, and the Nakaiju, that pretty much like stops almost every deck going second. And I mean I, I don't know what else to say. So I always feel bad showing a deck with Mystic Mind because I feel like people are like, ah, he's fucking play slow, you know. No, it's I don't play slow. It's just you know one of the best options. It's a it's a good budget option for me at the moment. So thank you for watching the video. I have uh, all my 14, 15 subscribers. This deck, a lot of the cards got reprinted. It, it, it it's a it's a chip. It's sort of like maybe like a eighty to hundred dollars deck, but it's it's really good. It, it it can go up against the meta. There's a lot of budget options. I'm not exactly a, like a budget player, but I I am not gonna go out of my way and like drop my whole paycheck to just play Yu Gi Oh. But I will slowly improve my deck if I think it it, it needs to be so. But with the, the way that I'm playing with Kaijus at the moment and in my side and 
my draw cards, um, I'm, I feel okay. Imperial Order is a freaking card that I don't have Phoenix in the extra deck because sometimes I feel like uh, even if you make Phoenix in Sky Striker, it's really like awkward to like most of the time they have like a like a different negation or interruption. That's what I put the judgments for in the in the main. Uh, maybe I switch the judgments for something else, but I also don't want to lose to Lion Storm and it's a lot of theory and you have to play a lot and your locals sometimes my locals might uh, give me a, sort of a I want to say bias but we'll see I'll I'll update this deck if if things don't work out but at the moment I've been playing it so and so in some locals and it's fine so thank you so much for watching this video I really appreciate even though if it's just like a few view, views and likes if there's any ideas out there I appreciate it was one guy told me once to play on chain uh, abomination that was that's a really good idea I believe that cards also under a dollar that's a really good budget budget option because I used to play uh, tropological bomber dragon whatever that's a good option um, really any any sky striker knowledge that you can bestow on me I greatly appreciate it um, thank you so much for watching again bye bye